morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Tuesday. It is early. It's 6.50. I thought I heard Papa Bear coming. It's 6.50. Um, I started work a little early today because I have my OB appointment today at 4. So I'm going to get off at 3. And Papa Bear too. Because he always comes with me to my appointments, you guys. He's the sweetest. He's been to every single one of my appointments. So... Yeah, okay, anyways, I'm gonna make some coffee and breakfast. You guys remember I made the egg muffins yesterday? So I'm gonna have a couple of these. And then we're also gonna have iced coffee. Let's do this cinnamon churro creamer. But I'm gonna mix it with Italian sweet cream. Before I forget, you guys, we have a special birthday shout out. For Jaylene, she's turning 15 years old tomorrow. So happy birthday, Jaylene. I hope you have a super awesome birthday. All right. So for creamer, we're going to do this International Delight Cinnamon Churro. I actually haven't tried this one yet. But Papa Bear said it doesn't have a strong cinnamon flavor um, compared to the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Creamer. He actually said that one was better. So, let's give it a try. Mmm, that's really good actually. I like it. I do taste the cinnamon. It's perfect for me because I don't like it with a strong cinnamon flavor, so this is actually really good. I like it. It's 3.15 right now and we are on our way to my OB appointment. Papa Bear is just putting his shoes on. He's putting his shoes on. And I I grabbed a few of these Swedish fish on the way out. I found this pack of assorted Swedish fish from, where did I get this? At Eddie World. And we, cause when we stopped at Eddie World on our way to Vegas, that's when I bought this, that's when I saw it. And it was so good. On our way back, I bought another bag. So good, you guys. I never tried um, other flavors of Swedish fish. I've only had the red ones. And they're so good and they're so soft. Because you know, sometimes they're hard. But these are good. Oh my god. Sorry. Oh my god. Sorry, you guys. You guys fell down. What's up, y'all? Here's Alfredo. Hi, I'm Alfredo. Hi, I'm Melissa. <laughs> That's so weird, huh? Hope you guys are doing good today. Having a good day. It's Tuesday. Let's go to our appointment. Let's go. We're gonna go hear baby's heartbeat. Maybe we can record it. Yeah. So we are here at the doctor's. Mama wants to try. <laughs> We're just waiting. We're just waiting for the nurse now. Yeah, day. <laughs> <laughs> the next day good morning bumblebeezies happy wednesday happy hump day happy 22 weeks today i'm 22 weeks you guys can you even believe it i say that every week um it's 8 14 right now i'm gonna make some breakfast egg muffin i'll do one of these i actually ate two of these yesterday but i just want one today and I, I made biscuits yesterday, so I'll probably have a biscuit. Vanessa is making a breakfast sandwich with an onion bagel, ham, and cheese. Sounds good. Yep. Hi. Also, yesterday I didn't vlog after our doctor's appointment, but we got KFC for dinner because it was too late, and I was like, I don't really want to cook. So we just got KFC for dinner. Um, I forgot to put the pork in the slow cooker. Hey. We'll have to put it in the oven. So we're gonna continue this vlog. Basically it's gonna be like a continuation from yesterday's vlog. We're gonna do it all together in one vlog. Also I ordered some maternity, <coughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <coughs> 
<laughs> what is happening? I ordered some maternity clothes from Old Navy and those came yesterday and some of them are super cute. So I'm going to do a little try on haul a little bit later and show you guys everything that I got. And then I got some um, sleepers for the baby that were on clearance. It was a good deal. Only $11 for like, I think five sleepers. Um, so yeah, I will show you guys everything later. We'll do a haul and I'll do a try on haul because cute, you know, you know. Oh, you're eating two muffins. You're eating two muffins? Oh, you're eating two muffins. Oh, that's Wait, not a no, muffin. That's, a, that's a biscuit. What the? Oh, I need to warm up my, my egg first. I have gained 16 pounds, you guys. I was doing really good, and I had only gained 10 pounds for, like, the longest time. I want to say, like, the first four months. Well... December, January, February. Yeah, like the first four months. And then from my last appointment until yesterday, I gained six pounds. So I'm up, I'm up 16 pounds. And my face is really chubby. Whenever I gain weight, I always gain weight first in my face. But also my, my tummy has popped. Here is my breakfast. I warmed up a biscuit. I put strawberry jam, then an egg muffin, and this is ketchup with Tabasco. So for lunch today, I made tuna salad. So we're gonna have tuna sandwiches. I think Papa Bear is gonna make his into a tuna melt, but I'm not. <laughs> so yeah, sandwiches. And then we have this um, chopped salad kit, which is avocado ranch. So I'm gonna make that, and that'll be our lunch for today. Here is my sandwich. I just put mustard on it. This is Daigu pickled radish. For the longest time, I couldn't eat these, you guys. Like, baby just didn't like them. And I'm so happy I could eat them again. And then here is my salad. It is time for my Old Navy haul. So I'm going to start with baby boy's sleepers that I got. These were on clearance. It was like a pack. It came together. It was a set. One, two, three, four, five. So a five pack. It was on clearance for $11. And I got them in size three to six months because he could wear it during the fall time because... You know, obviously they're fall colors, fall designs. I just think they're so cute. And a good deal for only $11. I don't really like paying full price for, for baby clothes because they won't wear them for that long. So I'm always looking at the sales or the clearance section. And then for my clothes, I got three of these tank tops. I got this green color, a black one, and a yellow one. I can't find the yellow one for some reason. I think I maybe left it downstairs, but... This is just what they look like. It's just, you know, like a maternity top. The only thing is like, it fits me really good right now. And obviously it has this like band right here. So it does stretch out and this is flowy, but I feel like it already looks like, um, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know if it'll fit me later on when I get bigger. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So I don't know if I should go up a size. This, I just got it in my regular size, which is normally what how you shop for maternity clothes. But since my stomach's already big, and you guys, my stomach's gonna get really, really big. I don't really pop out like big babies, but my stomach gets really big. Like when I was pregnant with AJ, I was huge. Like I looked like I was pregnant with like triplets. And then same thing with Vanessa, my stomach just gets really, really big. So yeah, that's my bump. So do you see what I'm saying? Like. Should I go up a size? I don't know, let me know. And then I got this dress, which I'm not sure if I actually like this dress, I might return it. This is actually um, much looser than like the shirt, so this stretches out like way far. It's got the elastic that like really stretches out, but like this situation, like the sleeve, I just, not. I'm not sure if I like it. It looks really cute like on the, um, on the model on the website, but like on me, I'm not too sure, but we'll see. It has pockets. I also wanted it in a different color. I didn't want black originally, but they didn't have my size. They only had black or white in my size, so I just went with black. But let me know if I should keep this or if I should return it. Last thing, this is my favorite item. I I love how it just like, I don't know. I love how it looks. When you have like your belly popping out, it looks super cute. It has ruching. Do not mind the mirror. I need to clean it. But it has ruching on the sides. 
both of the sides, super cute. The only thing is, same thing with like the tank tops, is this gonna fit me when I get bigger? Like, sure, there's room to like stretch, but I feel like it's already kind of like the way it's supposed to be, like it's already like to the limit. So I just don't know if this will fit me when I get bigger. So I went ahead and ordered this in the next size up and then I also ordered it in other colors because I'm obsessed with this dress. I love this dress. I think I'm gonna be like wearing these kinds of dresses and like just tank tops all summer long. Um, so yeah, I love it so much. This is definitely my favorite out of everything that I got. I might maybe try to find some t-shirts that are kind of like this rather than like those loose ones. Maybe ones that are more fitted like this and they have like the ruching on the side. Because I feel like that just looks better. It just like accentuates your body better. I don't know. I'm really into this though. It's I just love it. So for dinner tonight, I made Kahlua Pig. Um, I just put it in the oven. I was going to put it in the slow cooker, but I was supposed to put it in last night. And I completely forgot about, like I forgot to do it. So I just put it in the oven because it would be faster. So here's the reveal. Oops. I haven't seen it yet. So we have it all wrapped up in a foil. Whoa. And I only made half of the meat that we bought because we bought like two pieces of this pork. It smells so good. Look at this. It's literally falling apart. Yeah. So as you guys saw, we just pulled the pork out of the oven. We're going to just let that rest for a little bit. Alfredo actually took Vanessa driving. She she asked him if he could take her, you know, practice driving. So we're waiting for them to come back. I don't think they're going to be out that long. They've been gone for maybe half an hour already. So maybe they'll be back soon. They're just driving around the neighborhoods. Um, so that's exciting. She went, she's using my car, my RAV4. Well, I told her to use that car because when she gets her driver's license and when she um, starts college and she has to drive herself around, she'll be using that RAV4. Mm -hmm. Unless you give her your car. I don't like my car. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, she's going to be using the RAV4. So yeah, AJ and I are just hanging out. Monster Zinc. When AJ was a well, baby, I guess when he was a small kid, a toddler he used to, he couldn't say monsters ink he says wawa ink isn't that so cute here is the pork all shredded up it's so good i forgot to mention this was really easy i forgot to tell you guys how i made it so we just rubbed salt on the outside along with um liquid smoke is that how you call it liquid smoke i'm gonna show you guys the salt that we used we got it in hawaii but if you don't have this i think you can just use um like rock salt but this is the salt that we used. I just seasoned it all around and then like a little bit of liquid smoke. And that's it. Cooked it at 325 for five hours. Wrapped it in foil. Wow. So that's, that's so dinner. Nice, I also made mac salad. And I'm gonna make mine into a um, cold pork sandwich. Yeah. Oh, am I supposed to speak? Yeah. Oh, so, um... Turn on your light. Oh. They can't see you. Oh. I guess they still can't see you there. That's okay, better, yeah. I guess. So we're at, we're in Redlands. We're picking up some crumble cookies. I feel like it's been a while. Yeah. What are the flavors? A snickerdoodle cupcake, s'mores. There's a, a peanut butter one with, um... Nutter butter, I think it yeah, is. Yeah, nutter butter, I think. And then there's a macadamia nut, too. Oh. None of those are new, but I don't think I've tried. I feel like we've never tried some of them. I don't think so. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, bye. Here are the cookies. We got the nutter butter, snickerdoodle, s'mores. Oh, is this snickerdoodle cupcake? Oh, uh, yeah. Snickerdoodle cupcake, s'mores, and macadamia nut. They all look so good.